dinosaurs recently, even alive now. But we will get into some uh, things about pterosaurs too later on. Uh, we're going to get into this dating of dinosaur fossils or bones. So these are actual bones that were dated directly. But we will deal with direct carbon dating of, of dinosaurs. Again, I'm Jonathan Wickham from Murray, Utah. Radiocarbon in dinosaur and other fossils. Now we're only getting into a little tiny bit of this. They have a lot more than that. Uh, the Edmontosaurus, which is definitely a dinosaur. It was dated, um, see there are two, actually two of them in two different years. First of all, a, a vertebra, phalanx, a toe bone. In the two different years, 2014-2013. Edmontosaurus is believed in the standard uh, teachings of uh, evolution. It's believed to have lived uh, between 66 million and 73 million years ago. Notice the two blue bars on the left representing standard model belief about how long ago the Edmontosaurus lived. Compare that with the direct dating of two bones of the Edmontosaurus. Can you see the tiny blue bars here? No? They are practically invisible about a thousand times shorter than the two tall blue bars. Standard model assumptions are off by a factor of about 1,000. Compare this dating inaccuracy with uh, dating like somebody on the blind date. You go knock on the door and the father answers the door and, and says, well, no, my daughter is too young to date. Uh, oh, she's not 18 years old? No, she was born last week. Can you come back in 18 years? And that's what we have with these uh, datings. They're 1,000 times more recent when they're directly dated. And this is done with very uh, careful consideration of avoiding contamination. It was done in the standard procedures and the standard way of being, taking care with uh, avoiding contamination. So topsia. Let's look at this. Ceratopsy is actually, as I understand, general type of that includes a triceratops. But this is apparently they didn't have a more specific identity of it at the time of, of the carbon dating. And the uh, Ferriotis, which is a fish, is generally considered to be um, to have lived uh, 46 million to 65 million years ago, not more recently. And uh, of course, with the, the dating now, we have, well, it's a lot more recently, more than a thousand times more recent. We're dealing with dinosaurs today, and, and uh, this is a, a real problem for standard models of uh, the geology and the paleontology, because it's consistently given when carbon dating is used on dinosaur bones, they do reveal that they're, they have they're within that carbon dating uh, perimeter, they are, they'd have radioactive carbon.